Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer, and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Taurus. So let's go ahead and tune your energy, Taurus. For those of you stopping by for the very first time, welcome to my channel, and I hope you enjoy this reading. For those of you that are already part of the Intuitive Healer Tarot family, welcome back, my lovelies. And I got some beautiful stuff in this reading here today. So we have our spiritual abundance, and that says, thank you, angels, for being with me with infinite abundance. We also have our free card, and that card talks about lifting and being free of all barriers. Our angel, Gabrielle dragon brings purification it brings self-discipline and it also allows us to speed our ascension in and bring some joy in into our life i'm gonna go ahead and pull the rest of these cards from the gateway oracle and see what else we have thank you guides Thank you, guides, ascended masters, angels, guides, record keepers. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all your blessings. All right, here we go, listening to your heart. Ooh, here's a lot of cards popping out here. So they're really wanting some major messages to come through. All right, so first off hand, we have our receiving from angels. This card talks about shimmering wings of angels embracing you with love. And so this is that inner guidance. We do have this spiritual abundance card here with the angels blessing you with abundance. So receiving messages, receiving prosperity, and you're also taking action. You're moving forward in your life. I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. Yes, Taurus, I think you guys are just really motivated right now. You're moving forward. You're getting things done. You're also realizing along the way the beauty in life says my light illuminates the world so maybe you're in a place where you're helping others you know pull out of a toxic spot it says sharing yourself i'm incredibly generous being so yeah you are you're helping people maybe in this crisis maybe you're helping assist people towards their own peaceful life and I think in the process of that, well, you're cleaning up the house. You're cleaning up the clutter. It says, I cherish the simple pleasures of life. I think that you're tired of, you know, being in the, that minute space of consumption. It says, emerging into grace. I open my soul to grace. Yes, and you're just, you're like, whatever it is, I'm just going to go with it. I'm trusting the universe. And look at this, listening to your heart. Trust the messages I receive from my heart. So yeah, and lots of chakra stuff going on. Maybe you guys might be experiencing a little bit of kundalini upheaval, which is really good and positive for you because you are in that space of spiritual abundance. It says, following your bliss, my soul sings with joy. Yeah, because you're like, whatever, whatever happens, happens. Just going to roll with it. Letting go of that stuff that doesn't serve you. I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of life. Yeah, like I said, you are in a place where you kind of don't care. And it's not that you don't care about people. You just don't care about the frivolous. You don't want to do petty anymore. It says standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. So really standing in your truth. Let me pull one more card here. Hearing messages from spirit. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. Yes, and of course you are because here we got the spiritual abundance. Let's talk about that a little bit here. It says, thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. The angels want you to know that they're supporting you in all areas of your life to fo follow your spiritual guidance and intuitive feelings, and they will bring you abundance in all areas of your life. You know, abundance is your spiritual reward for trusting and sharing your gifts, talents, and light with the world. 
Any material needs you have will be met at this time and you're being encouraged to surrender any of your concerns in this area of life to the heavens and allow the angels to take care of that for you. Well, of course, angels jump in. They're like our, you know, I say they're like our banshee of homies. They're like, we got your back. <laughs> we got your back. And what you want, we're going to bring it to you. Look at this. Angel Gabrielle. Funny Gabrielle over here blesses you with self-discovery. Of course he does. Or she does. Because, you know, I like to talk about angels because that's kind of what started me on this path. And one of the things that we say, male or female, I think it's all about how we see them, how we view them in the moment in that experience as to what their um, gender will be. Because angels don't have a gender. They could be Gabrielle or they could be Gabrielle. It's all up to you. Look at this. Angel faith blesses you with some faith. So just have a little faith. They're here to support you. Let's go ahead and get into our Gabrielle Dragon Oracle card. So self-discipline and speeding up ascension brings you joy. And this is also a card that's amplifying you to expect to co cooperate with Archangel's Diamond White Dragons. This is all about self-examination and self-discipline to accelerate your ascension. Now, these dragons can illuminate you internally with happiness, clarity, and higher expectations. You will become a shining beacon and will automatically radiate light that shows others the way. You have earned the right to be a waking master. You will carry your fields to the glorious light of the Archangel's Cosmic Diamond, which is a life-transforming ascension tool that you are being given. It will protect your aura and fill you with joy love and bliss boom there you go look at this all this positivity of course it will let's get into our lovers oracle because you know i don't like to waste too much time on the melodramatics so let's move forward all right so send and masters angels and guides guide us in love what do we need to know about love today for our sign of Taurus. Please guide us to the right messages so that Taurus may be clear about their life path. Here's our cards. We got four cards. Awesome. Here's the first one. It says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Of course it is. Next card. It says, time, you are trying too hard. Give things time. Yeah, don't push it. Not, you know, it's like slow and steady, not fast and hard. Okay. Here's our next card. Friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Yeah, because you're creating a friendship with yourself and others around you. And that's kind of how this works. You know, upgrading you, getting to love you, and then others love you. That's just kind of the way it goes. Here we go. Here's our next card. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. I'm pulling one more card off the top here. It says, when you pass from the world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. One more. Jump in the gun here today. Here's my last one. My beloved, though we may be spiritually apart, or physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is ever missing. And that's exactly it, Taurus. You are supported. You have financial abundance. Love is coming in. Woo, love. And you know what? If you guys want to go a little bit deeper and you want to know a little bit more about this, you can always book me for a reading. All my information's all down in that description box below on how to do that. And as always, I am here to support you fully. So make sure that you hit that notification bell and that red subscription button so you'll be notified when my new videos do come up for your guidance. And I will be giving away during the fall solstice some crystals and tarot cards and all kinds of things to help you upgrade you on your spiritual path so 
have yourself a fantastic spiritual abundance. And like I said, slow moving is going to be your best bet right now. So not fast and hard, slow and steady. Namaste.